Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So we have an exciting project today. This is a skateboard. And this is a longboard that um, a friend of mine gave me. It is an Airwalk skateboard. Um, and as you can see, it's been used. It's scuffed up. So I am not a skateboarder. I'm not really familiar with skateboards, but I do have friends that skateboard and family members and stuff. So I thought this would be a good trial one. I did strip the back here and I primed it. Um, now, in order to keep it from going onto the front, that would be pretty difficult. And also, since the front is all scuffed up like that, here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna paint the back and then I'm going to strip the front and put down new um, grip tape. And this is, well, this is gonna be just a fun test one. And if this works out well, I'll do another one probably, um, probably just getting a blank board from scratch. So anyways, let's just have fun. So I'm gonna use white. I'm gonna use a smidge of red. This is primarily going to be a blue theme. So lots and lots of blue. Throwing some yellow in here as well. Um, I put probably a little more red than I was anticipating, but that's okay. More white, some black, and then I am going to add a little bit of this green that I made. More blue. More white. And I think that will be good. Okay, so let's try this out. We'll see how it goes. And all of these colors mixed with Floetron water. You can check down in the description. Um, for those details. So I'm going to do a traveling tree ring here. Oh, okay. I used a little too much paint in the beginning. Yikes. This is obviously not a flat surface. <laughs> so the paint is just going to roll down to the sides. <laughs> with this end. I'm going to actually pour a little more paint in my cup and just pour that part again. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead. We will let this dry. Um, and then, like I said, we'll go on to the next stage and go from there. So we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. It's all dry. Um, so I actually wasn't happy with this end, and I did a little more on it, and I thought it was on video, but it wasn't. So sorry. But anyways, this is how it looks all dry. This is what the other side looks like. And... This stuff does peel off, not super easily, but it's not also super difficult. This is just the like grip tape. So at this stage, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take all of the grip tape off and then I'm gonna give it um, just a, actually, yeah, I'm just gonna take all the grip tape off and then we're going to resin this side and go from there. Okay, this part with the logo definitely did not want to come off, so I'm just going to have to sand that off later when I'm cleaning it up after the resin anyways. I am going to use the Stone Coat Countertops. Um, this is their countertop epoxy. It has part A and part B. You mix them equal parts, and it's uh, heat resistant. It's got UV protection. It's got all kinds of things. So I'm going to get those mixed up, and then we're going to put a layer on here. All right, I 
love that the resin really makes it pop. And I even remembered to sign it down here. <laughs> cool. So next thing is letting the resin dry and then sanding off the excess on the top, re-putting the grip tape on, and then putting it all back together. So we shall be back. All right, guys, the longboard is complete. I'm so excited about this. Um, now, I made the mistake of not taking pictures of this before I took it apart, so I'm hoping that I put the wheels back on the correct way. <laughs> um, I learned apparently they're different for longboards or skateboards. I think I need to drill these in a little bit better. But anyways, this is how it looks complete. I think this is super cool. So this whole thing was just a complete trial and error, like I said, free skateboard that I got from a friend, and so I thought I would just give it a go. The grip tape cost me $5 with the paint and resin, maybe another 10 so max 15 bucks for this project to redo this. So I am ready to now, I'll probably, I want to do another one, absolutely. I think I'm going to get uh, just a, a blank board and start from scratch now that I know a little more what I'm doing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it's super awesome. I have to now uh, see which one of my skateboarder friends wants to, wants to give this a go. <laughs> and um, yeah. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time.